Hello and welcome back to my Ice and Fire Let's Play series, where in this episode I'm really excited because we're taking a look at something brand new in the Ice and Fire mod. But first off, I think it's time that I suit up. Yeah, I, uh, I have, I, I have a new suit of armor. <laughs> if you do not recall, uh, the the old red armor was, eh, it it's it has seen better days. Like it, oh yeah, no. Okay, there we go. It, it has okay enchantments, it's okay good. In fact, I'd need that Death Strider on these boots, but... Yeah, yeah, I... yeah. The blue one is cooler, it has mending. Yes, I did solve my mending issue. How did I solve the mending issue? In fact, all of my tools now have mending. Look at this. Pretty cool. I, uh, you may have noticed these stores here on the wall. These basically lead into an AFK fish farm thing, and I've been busy. <laughs> I have been quite busy. Ooh, three sticks. I've been quite good. Blah, blah. I have been quite busy, and uh, well, I got mending. And well, you may ask how I got so many mending because I can tell you right now that I didn't get all of those from mending books, but I have a mod called Disenchanter. Okay. A uh, zombie just died. Okay, that, that's fine. Uh, a disenchanter mod, which basically allows you, let me demonstrate, if you have a book and a tool and a book, you can basically take enchantments off of the item, which is pretty cool. So that that's how I did that. Um, so yeah, brand new armor, mending, tools have mending, very cool. But today, let's get on to the topic of today. Today, we will be taking on the Hydra and I'm pretty excited about this because I'm not sure if this is going to be difficult or if it's going to be easy but I guess we will have to find out. It looks kind of difficult but I hope that I have the right preparation and it's gonna be pretty uh, painless hopefully. It won't be painless I can guarantee that much because it, it, it spits poison at you but um Deathless. Deathless. Let's put it as deathless. Anyways, let's look at my backpack here. As you can see, I have made some potions. I have made some splash potion of strength for myself, of course, not for the Hydra. That would be stupid. Um, and then I have made splash potion of regeneration. Because my thought was, if you have poison, it removes damage. Oh, blah, blah. It removes uh, health slowly, but regeneration gives you health slowly, so maybe it will slow down the rate of the po poison. I have no idea if it will work, but I guess we'll find out. I also am bringing some golden apples right here, just in case. And yeah, that is pretty much it. And of course, we have all three dragons up here. We'll be choosing one for this mission. I already have pointed out the location for the Hydra, right over here. Hydra sighting. Hopefully I spelled everything right. If not, we're rolling with it either way. So, let's get up to the dragon... I wouldn't say dragon nest. Dra dragon landing platform place thing thing. Oh dear, it's already midday. We gotta, we, we gotta, we gotta hurry. <laughs> I'm going to be choosing a fire dragon for this because I did spot a fire dragon nearby, so hopefully we are not gonna get into any trouble. I'm going to choose, I think, Meltiv for this mission. I guess it's just something that I thought of now. It is in a swamp area and Meltiv has like brown swampish colors I suppose. So yeah I think he uh, he fits well for this mission. And there he is. Hey Meltiv. Alright cool. Uh, hunger is 100 out of 100. Alright cool. Well then with my antique atlas in my hand uh, so we're going in this direction-ish. Alright I'm actually going to have the empty horn in my inventory, just in case. Well then, I guess we fly. Yes, we fly indeed. Okay, the, okay. <laughs> this is the first time that I'm using a dragon uh, here in the series for, for traveling like like this. And it, it's, it's faster than flying with wings and also faster than a hippogriff. I've flown a dragon before in creative and such, but... Um, this feels different. <laughs> it feels cool. All right, we're actually already there, but I'll see you. Well, we're not already there. We're almost there. I'll see you at the location. All right, we have arrived at the swamp. Oh, look at the shadow down there to the left. That looks awesome. 
All right, so the Hydra should be around here somewhere. Just wanna fly around a bit. Yep, see there's a dragon nest. Hopefully we have not been spotted and are being followed. If we are, I'm sure Meltev can take care of that little issue. All right, I know for a fact that the, the Hydra's home is around here somewhere. Uh, in fact, there it is right above Meltev's head or nose. So we're gonna set down right here. There we go. We are not gonna use Meltev for this fight. That I feel that that would make it way too fast, wouldn't it? All right. Let's proceed with caution. Let's let's buy out the area first. All right. I have moved to a tree location. And we can see the Hydra right there. Now, before we continue, before we engage, let's just talk a little bit, oh dear, talk a little bit about the Hydra. It has three heads, and uh, when you chop one off, it basically grows two more. I think it can have up to like nine heads or something, and it will keep regenerating them, unless it's on fire. So that is how you fight this thing. You fight it with fire. And my bow has flame and First of all, I have a flamed dragon bone sword, but it also has fire aspect too. So keeping this thing lit up should be relatively easy. So I hope that is not going to be a problem. Um, and then overall, I just hope armor will, uh, <laughs> will suffice for taking damage and such. I'm gonna take all of these and the golden apples and yeah, let's just get prepared. I think that will be good. Gonna take those and I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna equip the potions and I'm gonna shoot it with my bow to get it on fire. And then we're gonna get down there and fight it possibly in this area and potentially get some cows killed because uh, they're in the way, but hopefully not. They're innocent. All right. Um, oh dear, <laughs> this is... This. This is kind of kind of scary. Okay, here we go. Uh, strength will last for eight minutes. I could potentially have made that put to strength too, but oh well. Regeneration, boom. Uh, I'm gonna eat a golden apple as well, just because. That way we also get absorption. <sighs> here we go. It's on fire. Let's go. I think we already have a head down actually. Okay. Yep. I think the regeneration is working as intended. It is doing some damage. Actually, this is not too bad. It does a lot of damage. And of course, the poison is hurting as well. Okay, I need to regenerate. I need to regenerate. Golden apple. It just... We cannot let it not be on fire. It has to... Yeah, this thing is stupid. Annoying. Okay, keep at it. I need to eat to regenerate, otherwise I will not regenerate. Alright, and we killed it! Whew, poison four! No kidding. <laughs> poison four. That was actually not too tough. Let's see what we got. We got eight Hydra Fangs, what can we use those for? Hydra Arrows, you don't say. Poisons and leeches life from target. I think we'll have to make some of those. All right, run flash. Okay, it's getting late. We have three chests here. I have no idea what these will actually contain. Uh, do I have a bed on me? I do, in, in fact. So let's uh, let's sleep. Oh, let's sleep in a bed and see what we'd have here in this hydra hidey hole or cave. That was actually not that hard. I I expected more resistance. To be completely honest with you. But uh, let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, what's this? Okay, so we have some chains. We have some gold nuggets. We have an enchanted book with Lure 2, Death Strider 3. I needed that. <laughs> Death Strider 3 and Fire Protector 3. I needed Death Strider. That's cool. And we have an Iron Sword with Champions 3 and Knockback 2. I'll take it. What do we have here? Uh, iron ingots and an Iron Chest Plate with Unbreaking 3 and Protection 3. That's not a bad chest plate. And over here we have a bunch of bones, a skeleton skull, and a chain chest plate with mending even. That's that's not that's not too bad loot actually. 
but that was actually extremely easy uh, shooting it with the with the bow and then fighting it with the dragon bone sword that was actually surprisingly easy we almost need to fight two now don't we only issue is I don't have the location of another one hmm I might just take Meltiv and uh, fly around a bit just to see if potentially there's another one around so let me get to a clear area get Meltiv out and let me not do it right at the other dragon and let's see if we can maybe spot another one lurking around in the area hello Meltiv okay I was just flying around searching and the sea serpent started attacking me so no I'm not having it <laughs> it's dying <laughs> it's dying now it's on land and I can actually kill it fairly easily die you think okay that was relatively easy too <laughs> ah strength I think I got that from Melter I literally just landed over there and I was looking at the sea serpent thinking eh should I attack it it was killing some squids and then well this happened <laughs> I got attacked and I'm like nope not happening boy okay well I've searched the nearby swamp and I just can't seem to find any. So I think what we will be doing, I think we'll go back home, we'll make up those arrows and we'll test the arrows. I am thinking though, there's this wild dragon over here. I could go for it because I do, uh, I think the dragon might already have decided that it's going for me. Uh, oh no, oh no. I think it might already have decided what I'm supposed to do here. Is it a male or female? I'm not really interested in any eggs. That is a male. I don't have any bottles for blood though. Nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna kill it. I'll be back for it. <laughs> I need dragon scales and uh, dragon, what's it called, dragon blood for, um, for the dragon forge. But I don't have any glass bottles with me right now, so I think that will be for another mission. Alright, I'm back home now, just gonna empty my inventory. Uh, hey, that's actually some red sea serpent scales. So now we have green, blue and red. That's pretty cool. Alright, anyways, oh yeah, I left my ulti outside of the horn. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let me empty my inventory here. Let me get stuff... Uh, organized, uh, organized-ish, <laughs> and I'll be right back and we'll make those arrows. I also just looked if I could potentially make the enchantment right now, but it requires for me to have 30 levels to get the Death Strider on, so that will go on the shelf for now for another time. Let's make the, the Hydrofangs. Do I even have any, I do not have any little pads. Well, let me sleep and let me visit the nearby swamp where there's no Hydra. Or, well, it shouldn't be anyway, because it's in an already loaded junk, so hopefully there shouldn't be any Hydras. <laughs> and I'll take Meltiv for a, for a fly over there, why not? Even though it is right around the corner, then having Meltiv here is basically just like a... Was that a sea serpent down there? Nope, it's not. But yeah, basically just having Melzo here is pretty much just like having a bodyguard. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not too bad. Now I want to find a place. Basically, the Hydra Fangs for the Hydra Arrows, uh, you need lily pads. So I need eight lily pads. Seems like we have a good amount here. I'm gonna set down. Oh, what's your look at that? There's a treasure crate here. Whoa. Okay, I did not know this was here. Anyways. Uh, yes, lily pads. Okay, there's quite a few here. So, we need eight in total. I don't think Meltiv likes the hippogriffs that are nearby. To be completely honest, I'm not sure if I like that either. Let's jump behind and get out of here. So, just sticks, lily pads. And, well, Hydrofax, I uh, need to empty my inventory again. Excuse me, how many music discs of cat do I need and how many of 13 do I need? Uh, 
I have four thirteens and five with the cat one. I don't need this many. Uh, at least two of each, just in case you lose one. But... Eesh. Potion where potions belong. Music this. Hmm. I'm sorry if you're annoyed by this, but... um. I, I really do not need them. <laughs> I, 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 where are they? Well, I can't see them. <laughs> They're gone now. <laughs> I don't need that many, okay? Anyways, let us now make the hydro... What are they called again? Hydro arrows? Hydro arrow. Poisons and leeches life from target. First, though, I want to see... Okay, yes. For sure, there's nothing else we can make with the hydro fangs. At least not yet. So... I just want to make them all. Alright, that gave us 32. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna keep those in my backpack. Right down here. Just in case. Maybe we'll need it for something in the future. Some mob, some... Thing, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll need it in the future. Maybe it will come in handy. Uh, useful something. So that's cool. I want to, I want to try and shoot one though. I want to try and shoot one. Just one. Uh, I need night time for this to work. But anyways, while we are waiting for night time, let me show you over at the Dragon Forge because <laughs> I realized after I had actually finished constructing the thing, I um, had made a little bit of an oof. A little bit of a mistake. Construction wise. And it didn't seem like any of you noticed, but uh, now you will <laughs> if you go back and look. Basically, this pillar right here, or this line of stone bricks, was not centered at all. It was, I think it was like two more blocks over here, and it, it, it did not look well. <laughs> it just did not look well. Now it is actually centered from there to there, and now it looks a lot better. And now the Dragon Forge will actually be centered once we actually get it placed. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that little detail over here, it's fixed now. Uh, how how many, did any of you notice that actually in the last episode? Let me know down in the comments below if you did. Um, I guess I guess I'm just waiting. F yeah, I guess we're just waiting for nighttime now, Meltev. I could use a zombie spawner, but where's the fun in that? Yeah, Meltev and I. Oh dear. Yep, we're gonna hang out here for until nighttime. Be right back. All right, the moon is rising. And the sun is setting. Which means there should now be monsters out and about. I have my hydro arrows right here. I have my bow. And I have my I have I need to test something. Because it says poisons and leeches life from target. Does that mean that I get the life it takes? I don't know. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna remove my bat wings and I'm gonna jump from here. Okay, I didn't die. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I wasn't a hundred percent certain of that, but I, d I do have feather falling, uh, feather falling four. So I mean, eh, it should be good. All right. So uh, I want something that is easy, that doesn't shoot back, and is a skeleton and a noise. AKA, I want a creeper. Here, creepy, creepy, creeper, creep. Let me guess. The one time that I actually ask for a creeper. The one time that I ask. For a creeper, ah, uh, there's one. Now this zombie is in the way, and he's gonna call a bunch of his friends. The one time I ask for a creeper, boy, oh, get over here. Okay, let's see how this works. Uh, ah, uh, hold on. Okay, the dragon bone arrow, the dragon bone bow, does not shoot. The hydra arrows, good to know. <laughs> Very good to know. All right, let's see how this works. Oh, I did get... Did you see that? I had four hearts. Let me shoot him again. Yep, it healed me. So I had four hearts lost of, of health from the fall. And the first shot healed two and a half? Yeah, it healed two and a half. That's not bad. So it does give me... Life from the target, and I guess gives... I don't know how long that poison lasted. 
it. Let's see if we can test on one more arrows and I'm saving the rest of them. Okay, the creeper again. Okay, so watch for the poison particles. Okay, so the... Wait, what? Okay, one shot from the Hydra arrow, including the poison. It still had poison. I don't know how long the poison will last for, but I almost kind of want to test it out. But, uh, I'm out of here. But it got the health all the way down to only one punch with a fist, and it died. That's pretty powerful, and that with, was with an unintended bow. Imagine if, if that's with a power five, how much damage that does. I, I gotta get, I gotta get me some more of those. <laughs> they, they're amazing. <laughs> well then, uh, I'm not sure how long the poison lasts. All right, I'm going to conduct a test. I'm going to shoot this creeper and we're gonna see how long the poison will last for. It can't be too long, but so far it's like 10 seconds. 10, 15, 15 seconds, it looks like, 15 seconds-ish, around there. That's actually not too bad. That's, that, 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 not too bad at all, actually. All right, I'm putting the bow and the hydro arrows away for a scenario where I really want to use them. But hey, we got them tested, and uh, I'm really happy with, uh, with, with having them, actually. Oh dear. Well, you know what? I think I'm just gonna leave Meltzer there for now. I'm gonna head home and we're gonna wrap up this episode. All right, that is gonna wrap up this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. We defeated a Hydra. We... Boy, I'm doing an outro here. Ouch. See, now I'm on fire. But yeah, it's gonna wrap up this episode here. We defeated a Hydra. We got some really cool arrows. I really, really like these and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to uh, hunt down some more Hydras for those because they're, they're cool and I love them. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. Really hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, goodbye. And I'm gonna get down from here because there's a skeleton up there and that zombie may have called friends and I don't wanna get smacked in the back so I'm gonna go to bed. Have a wonderful day, okay. Good night. Well, not good night. Well, good night in game, but goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I clicked out of Minecraft and I went to bed and then I got out of the bed and Minecraft took over my mouse and then I punched the fern and... Meh. It's all good though. It's back to normal. I'm alright. Goodbye.